know, like I mentioned before in the stream, it's a very annoying level because you're going to take damage if you don't get the water breathing spell. Or you can use the water breathing helmet, but there's only one of them so far. So that's only good for one character, really. And right now I'm using it, so as you can see the outline here is kind of a red frame around my characters. It means I'm protected. But there is a part of this map which, if you look at the map right now, I'm about to enter. And that area pretty much disables your spells. So it's kind of a survival race to get to the exit. And that's pretty much it, really. So let's get back to it. Okay, maybe this direction is wrong. Oh, where is that red gem? There. There we go. There it is. Okay, that's number two. What happened to this guy? Why is he dead? Yep, here they come. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. Like, seriously. It's pretty tedious, to be honest with you. Oh, it's like just rinse and repeat. Boom. Get a level for my mage. Okay, well, that kind of screws up the order, though. Minus two. Staggering to your feet. Just one second, because I I pushed something wrong and save. All right, staggering to your feet after a sudden dizzying teleportation, you find yourself face to face with a dark robed creature uh, of sepulchral countenance. Such a creature as this, if human at all, could only be a lich. Welcome, vile rogues, snarls the lich. I must admit I am curious. Did you actually believe I would let you saunter into Myth Draenor, steal the artifact from me, and stroll right back out again as if nothing had happened? I am called Aquellen, travelers, and I am the last person you will ever meet in your travels. Okay, so hand over the artifact and maybe we'll let you live. Cocky, aren't we? Now that any way to treat guests... And uh, we have come for the artifact. We won't leave without it. Um, okay. I have lived for millennia. I possess power that you can't even dream about. I was here when the battle began. And I will be here long after your bones have turned to dust. We want the artifact, not bloodshed. Please be reasonable. Or hand over the artifact old man and we might let you live so it's actually kind of goes back to the first choices in a way um obviously you have to fight him okay let's know the mystery frank adventurers i've been through a lot i'm tired of defending myself it is time for me to end your threat but hear this if perchance you defeat me the price you will pay will be dear and only when it is too late you will realize what you have done goodbye my friends prepare to unlock death's door what? Oh, this is the real one, I guess, huh? There is some shimmering near the broken and barely living something the codex is now mine i have the city and soon the entire world will join it who's that i know why you did this you must stop the dark god from near the gate to the realm of shadow and taking over the world my lair is in a temple of lathander it is in a temple quarter i will teleport to near now go who was that uh, guy though it's just no no explanation whatsoever 
A tremendous earthquake seems to have struck this quarter of the sea recently, perhaps due to the unnatural forces unleashed by Aquellan's death. Fresh rubble is strewn about, and the walls, which were once relatively intact, had been reduced to pebbles. Great. So... What in the hell just happened? Um, it could be good, but the thing is, like... Oh, you can use it to attack from the back. That's really good, then. Okay, so yeah, I guess now it makes sense. If you don't finish the previous area, you basically can't access here. There would be a wall, basically. Hello there, I am Father John. What brings you to the Temple Quarter? We seek a great evil, no concern of yours, Father. It's not safe here. Uh, be gone, we're just looking around. I'd say you're in a good neighborhood for that. I sincerely hope you're here to eradicate the evil and not to aid it. We're here to stop the evil, all right. Will you join us? Indeed, good show. Okay. I took him here, tried to reestablish some sort of order. This place was once a quiet sanctuary of worship and devotion, but now, now all I see is death and the darkness it calls home. If you will help me cleanse the temple of Lathander, I will indeed aid you in your quest. And uh, I'm just gonna, again, just to check out the character, just gonna see what he has here. So he's a, yeah, level 10, cleric and mage. Uh, he has pretty good stats, actually. Decent stats, I have to say. And uh, for the spells, I'm not sure what he has, but... Okay, so level 7, he can't have that. He doesn't even have level 6. Level 5 he has. Okay. What about uh, magic spells? He has nothing. Level 5 is the highest he has, so that's actually pretty low. Should be one more. And there we go. Crystal key. And you need this. Yep, so it turns out you can't do that then. Uh, you see, it doesn't let you teleport back into that room. And so you can't teleport out of it either. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, it turns out you can't go back. So that sucks. And that means that if you want to open that door in the next map, you can't really do that anymore because, yeah. You can't get out of here, basically, without the red gem, which I believe you use here somewhere to open that door. So, all right, that's it. That's it for today, then. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for YouTube. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you next week. Otaku Up signing off.